vakantie in Jozegeland. Dat geeft ons de gelegenheid om eens op zoek te gaan naar de Nederlandse Frankie Valley. Zelfs het Musical Awards Gala 2010 is begonnen met een preview van Jersey Boys. Over een paar jaar hier achter mij in het Beatrix Theater in Utrecht. Maar om uit te vissen waaraan een Frankie Valley moet voldoen, moeten we wel de hele wereld afreizen. Laten we eens beginnen in Londen. Hi, I'm Scott Manello and I play Frankie Valley in the London cast of Jersey Boys and you're watching musicalworld.tv. Scott, you look a bit tallish for a Frankie Valley kind of guy. Oh, here we go. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm a little bit taller. I, apparently I'm the tallest Frankie there is. Yes. Um, of all the Jersey Boys. But um, it's not too bad anymore because the, um, the new cast are a lot taller. So it makes me look smaller. So, yeah, I think Frankie's like five foot four or something very small. Walk like a man, talk like a man, walk like a man, my son. Did you have trouble to get a chance for auditioning with that um, tallness? Well, I got the audition in the first place just to be seen generally. So I could have been seen for Bob Gordio or any of the seasons. Mm -hmm. But when I got in there and sang my song, they realised that my voice was quite high. Yeah. So I thought I was quite suitable for Frankie, although a bit tall. So, um, and eventually after having about eight or nine auditions, I eventually um, got a chance to go to the States to meet Bob Gordio uh -huh. and to sing for him. And they kind of luckily overlooked the height thing. I think they kind of eventually forgot about it. <laughs> so, um, so yeah, and I, I got a chance and eventually I got the job. Let's hang on to what we got. Don't let go, girl, we got a lot. What did you think yourself when you first heard Frankie Valli's way of singing? I think when I first heard him, um, it's definitely different. <laughs> it's different, but it's, it's luckily in the same range as what I sing. I don't sing quite as... He's got a very piercing, kind of quite nasal quality about uh -huh. his singing, which is, is the tough challenge about this show, is that they're always trying to encourage you to sing more twangy, they say, mm -hmm. you know, with more through your nose, which isn't the way many people sing nowadays. No. So it's something you really need to concentrate on and, and go to regular singing lessons to make sure you're doing it correctly. Because yes. potentially, if it's not something that you're, you sound like naturally, you could potentially damage your voice if you do it wrong. Mm -hmm. So we, we have regular singing lessons on a weekly basis just to check we're doing it correctly. Hang on, hang on, hang on to what we got. Did it, did it, did it. My original way of singing is a lot more just sort of contemporary musical theatre mm -hmm. because that's where I trained. I trained for three years in London doing musical theatre so um, it's kind of a lot more ground in it. It's kind of it's not so in your head like Frankie sounds. Mm -hmm. like my range was the same but it's kind of a richer, my, my own voice is a bit richer mm -hmm. than Frankie would sing so um, it's kind of interesting to know how I'll sound after this job. <laughs> I wish you leidt het spoor naar Frankie Valley ons naar hier achter mij Las Vegas. De acteur die hier Frankie Valley speelt is een goede bekende van ons. Het is zelfs een Facebook vriend van niemand minder dan Daniel Cohen. Het is Rick Fagno. I'm Rick Fagno of Jersey Boys and this is musicalworld.tv. Playing this role is, is the most challenging thing I, I, that I've ever done. Uh, it's so vocally demanding, physically demanding. Sherry, Sherry, baby. It's vocally so difficult to sing. It's almost like uh, uh, an opera singer, you know, uh, because it's it's so taxing on on the voice and, and the vocal cords, you know, and you have to really be know what you're doing up. You know, up and down. There's, there's no faking it. My first foray into Jersey Boys was playing uh, Joe Pesci and understudying Frankie Valli. So I started uh, for six months just playing Joe Pesci and then I became uh, Frankie Valli after that. So you were waiting in the wings, awaiting your opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I guess you could say that. <laughs> I was uh, study, using that time to, to study and, and, and try to uh, uh, make my voice as good as it could be and uh, strengthen my voice and uh, work on the acting and try to get myself to a point where I could put myself in contention for the role. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, th I felt like I did that because after six months 
uh, when the person who was playing the uh, uh, Frankie Valli alternate uh, left to go do the Chicago company, they asked me to become the alternate in the national tour company. So I became the twice a week Frankie, and I did it for six months, and then they approached me about coming to Las Vegas. You're just too good to be true. Can't take my eyes off of you. You'd be like heaven to touch. I want to hold you so much. Why did you think you were the right choice for being Frankie Valli? I, I tried to embody who Frankie Valli is. Um, and who he who he is as a person and as a performer, mm -hmm. and I've spent a lot of time talking to him and uh, getting a lot of information about who he is and who the, who Four Seasons were, uh, and I I try to be as true to to him and them as I can be. Let me love you, baby. Let me love you. You're just too good to be true. Onze zoektocht naar Frankie Valley leidt ons helemaal tot hier, Los Angeles. Het gaat om een heuse Tony Award winnaar. En hij is degene die de rol van Frankie Valley oorspronkelijk heeft opgezet op Broadway. Hi, I'm John Lloyd Young from the original Broadway cast of Jersey Boys. En dit is musicalworld.tv. En hier zijn we dan, zowaar de echte John Lloyd Young, Fr uh, Frankie Valley en vele andere rollen daarna. Thanks for having us, John Lloyd. I'm very excited that you're here visiting in Los Angeles. Shame on you, your mama. Frankie Valley himself was extremely busy when we were opening. So I only really got to know Frankie personally very little. And most of what I knew about him as a person I got from Bob Gaudio, his colleague. Uh, and, and from whatever I could, uh, from the videos I watched and listening to the recordings. So I knew enough about Frankie from him and from the script to play him. But I also knew that this was someone that was already famous in the United States. So people had a certain expectation for who Frankie was. They had an idea of who he was. They had seen him on television. and. It sort of grown up listening to him, so I knew I had to get really close to what he was like, or at least people's uh, idea of what he was like. So I do a favor for you, you do one for me. That's fair, isn't it? Sure, Mr. DeCollin. But most importantly, I knew that the audience had to love him, and they had to advocate for him, and they had to believe in him, because in the way the show is built, he's the last one standing, and he becomes a solo artist over the course of the show. He starts with a group, and then it's, he's the last one there. So the audience really has to rally behind him. Um, so my, my overriding goal was giving a very realistic interpretation of this person that people already knew, but also making him compelling and lovable in such a way that you want him to succeed. There will be, of course, a lot of, maybe hundreds of candidates for the part of Frankie Valley, And you are the guy to ask some tips and hints. Well, the first, the first challenge is that voice, is that, is that the singing of the part and, and being able to hit those notes. And so you got to have those notes. You know, you've got to be able to sing in falsetto. I'd say don't drink too much. Don't drink too much? <laughs> no, because alcohol is very bad for your voice. Especially for your falsetto. Mm -hmm. So if you want to sing high, don't drink. Mm -hmm. And um, no late nights either. <laughs> or early mornings. The second is the discipline to do the falsetto six to eight times a week and to continue to be able to do that. So you have to have almost a militaristic discipline to get Rick Fagno, who you're mm -hmm. going to interview, is comes from he was a Broadway dancer for years and years. Dancers have discipline. You really have to be work on a tremendous amount on your on your on strengthening your voice mm -hmm. that's the number one priority yes uh and and uh, as well as the acting is 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 tremendously uh challenging in this role in terms of acting keep it real mm -hmm. they like really naturalistic actors none of this it's not a typical musical theater show so none of these you know teeth and, and mm -hmm. hands in terms of booking the part uh 
You should look a little bit like Frankie Valley, <laughs> and she'd be able to get that attitude, which should be easy to find because if you know if if you're Dutch, you just go and rent you know rent some movies of like the you know those Italian American guys from New Jersey or rent Goodfellas or whatever, and get a sense for the attitude. Get the music from from online. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, try to get some sides if they're out there. I don't know if they are on you know if you can get them online or not. Uh, but do some research on your own and try to, you know, and, and work on it and see how well you do by yourself without coaching. Yes. And then try to find somebody who can, you know, coach you. There's YouTube all over the place of all these different people who have played okay. Frankie. Me and, and Ryan in, in, uh, in London and Rick Fagno in, in Vegas. And there's, there's, you know, you can see actually so, many, so much stuff on YouTube of television performances when these people go out and perform. So you can get a sense for the energy that they bring their performance, and then that's that's a good way to sort of see what the Jersey Boys producers have hired already, okay. and that and give you it'll give you a sense for what they're looking for. It's hard to make believe you're happy when you're great. Maybe when you're feeling the audition process. What can contenders expect? They can expect a room full of people who've done this now I think seven times across the world with seven different companies these the people running the auditions know exactly what they need and um, and they know exactly how the show works and so uh, you can expect people who will will tell you exactly what they need from you they gave us I think they gave us like 25 pages of sides I mean it was a lot a lot of material because it's a heavy acting role. Singing and dialogue? Singing and dialogue, yeah. My very first audition, I can't say that, everyone's going to take the same song. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to. <laughs> I, I took Mooning, which is a song from Greece. Oh! Um, just because it's not kind of... Not from Jersey Boys. Not from Jersey no, Boys, no. no, not for my first audition. Because I think they're, they're kind of sick of hearing the same songs mm -hmm. over and over again, mm -hmm. so they like some variety. But yes. I took Mooning just because it's from the same era, so that's also a good, a good thing to do, is take a song from that time. And... Um, it's um, it's got some real high falsetto moments in it, and just I, th I felt like I could show a bit of Frankie's voice yes. in it. So I had to prepare, you know, a, a three or four songs and uh, work on uh, a lot of uh, material asides, and um, you know I got myself to as far as as far as I could get on my own, you know. Which songs did you have to sing for? Uh, we had I remember I had to sing uh, "Walk Like a Man." I definitely sang in there. I think I sang "Sherry." Uh, I think I'd sang a little bit of Moody's Mood mm -hmm. and uh, Can't Take My Eyes Off You. You were called back and back because yeah. you, you, you went back eight or nine times? It was about me? eight or nine <gasps> times, yes. W when does the acting uh, start? The acting starts um, about your fourth, mm -hmm. I think it was about my fourth audition. Mm -hmm. But then um, the more you go back, the more they give you, the more you have to learn and the longer the audition gets. The dialogue, which scene did you have to uh, read? We did, uh, uh, this is going to be information for uh, some Frankies, isn't it? <laughs> the first scene you do is the, um, there's a pizza scene, we, we call it the pizza <laughs> scene, in the show where Frankie meets his first wife. Valley Delgado. Valley with pizza. an I. That's the one. <laughs> You've seen the show too many times. <laughs> Are you auditioning? <laughs> no, no, no. No, you should. Um, As Bob Crew, I, I'm afraid. <laughs> you're well, not, go ahead. Yeah, you're not camping up for that. <laughs> it's physically and emotionally exhausting I mean you probably I, I was singing things that I'd never really sung before and uh, doing things I'd never done as a performer before and then uh, you know going up against all these other people uh, it's it's a it's a daunting task Who loves you, mama? Who's always there to make John Lloyd a few months ago the producer stage entertainment presented his plans for the near future that was uh, the occasion they announced jersey boys would come to utrecht as an extra they presented four of his finest actors to do a bit of jersey boys but i have to say for those actors they rehearsed only for two or three days okay. so be gentle okay <laughs> and please say what you think of okay. what you see all right <laughs> wow, that's good English. <laughs> I don't even hear an accent. The choreography is completely different. Yes. Yeah.
pretty good. That's Stan Lee. Uh-huh. <laughs> Somebody has no hair. <laughs> Got the notes. <laughs> very cool, very cool. Oh, it's Nick Massey with no hair. <laughs> Got the notes. <laughs> Frankie sounds great. He's got the full set over there and this is great. Very good. Uh, what do you think of it? I don't know what to say. <laughs> no, they're fantastic. Great. They, they sound great. The harmonies sound tight, and the, the Frankie's got a great, a great falsetto, mm -hmm. which is one of the most important things. These guys should be in the front of the line for whoever is getting cast in the new one. Do you see any uh, Frankie talent among those? Four? I do. I see the guy who was uh, seeing Sherry has got some definitely mm -hmm. definite potential, and I think the guy on the end, who was singing Begin, what's his name? His name is Jamai. He's very good. Mm -hmm. Very good voice. Excellent. In fact, just a sec. <laughs> You're watching this only on musicalworld.tv.